Thank you very much for having me, and it's really good to be here, and it's good to welcome the members into the spring meetings. Um, very exciting times, very challenging times. But I'll tell you a little bit about the Saudi experience. Mm. Uh, Saudi went through a significant transformation over the last seven years under Vision 2030. And just before COVID, as we were really preparing for COVID, significant transformation. Digitalization, social transformation, government transformation that actually allowed us to weather COVID and the multiple shocks that came after COVID mm. very well prepared. Structural changes, government efficiency, digitization, very strong financial system and financial buffers, very efficient spending that allowed the Saudi government to really rebound very quickly after uh, COVID. And I think there is something to learn from this for other countries around the world. If you want to do the right thing, you need to do the right thing and be tough and bold and changing and, and, and transitioning rather than doing them very slowly and sometimes even painfully. So what are your priorities for this upcoming IMFC and what, what do you hope to accomplish over the next three years of your tenure? I will not look at the three years at this stage. I think it's too early. I'm talking to the members. Uh, obviously, the key thing is to build on what Nadia have done, the ex-chair, and bringing a streamlined IMFC, focusing on the strategic issues. Resilience is key today, and I think countries will need to ensure that they prepare themselves for even future shocks. I mean, we have heard Kristalina talk in the, in the key report that she issues about how the world economy is moving. We are obviously a lot better than what we thought we will be a year ago, but still challenges are underway and we need to make sure that we are prepared, working together, supporting multilateral institutions, working collaboratively to face these common challenges for a better world. And of course, there are headlines generated in these meetings. One of them is the World Economic Outlook. Things are flat, basically. Does that change when you land here in DC? Does it change any of your thoughts about your upcoming tenure and the role of the IMFC? I think a few things that we need to really deal with. One is, obviously, the world today is a better world than what we thought it would be a year ago or two years ago. Okay, so we have a reasonably good landing on, on the world economy. Obviously, the growth potential is challenging, not as it was a dec decade or two decades ago. But that is what is important for these meetings, is to sit down with the members, discuss challenges, discuss opportunities of how can we work together collaboratively mm -hmm. to make sure that we deal with these challenges together. Without it, it is very difficult. Working alone is very difficult. So it's really that multilateral discussion that will hopefully help the world economy recover and recover better and grow even better. Minister, thank you for joining us on IMF today. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.